In the county of Denton, Texas, legends and tales of Goatman's Bridge have been passed down from generation to generation. In this video, we're going to revisit one of Denton's most legendary ghost stories. There are many Denton ghosts that have haunted this city over the years, but a few stand out as truly haunting. One of the most local ghost stories though, and one of the most terrifying, is the legend of Goatman's Bridge. Let's begin. We're here at the one and only most haunted bridge in Texas, Goatman's Bridge. First, what we're going to do is we're going to cover a little, a little bit of the backstory and then we'll go take a look. Maybe today we'll be able to see the Goatman. Let's go. Denton's most famous bridge all began with a story handed down for generations with a few variations, and that's the haunted Goatman's Bridge. Travelers to the Old Alton Bridge have a long reported frightening encounters and ghostly experiences with supernatural creatures that have made it a legendary spot for Texas ghost hunters and a topic for numerous books. Before we jump into the ghost lore, let's take a look at the history of the bridge itself. Old Alton Bridge is a historic iron truss bridge connecting the Texas cities of Denton and Copper Canyon. Built in 1884 by the King Iron Bridge Manufacturing Company, it originally cr carried horses and later automobiles over Hickory Creek at a location that was popular for crossing cattle. The bridge takes its name from the abandoned community of Alton, which between 1850 and 1856 was the seat of Denton County. The heavily traveled Old Alton Bridge remained in constant use until 2001, when vehicle traffic was moved to an adjacent concrete and steel bridge. Prior to the new bridge, it was necessary for motorists to signal with a car horn before crossing the single lane span. The new bridge strained out a sharp curve on both sides of the creek and provided additional travel lanes. With vehicle traffic removed, the bridge became an important link connecting the Elm Fork and Pilot Knoll hiking trails. Today, it is a popular location for nature enthusiasts and photographers. Old Alton Bridge was included in the National Register of Historic Places on July 8, 1988. Now, let's discuss the legend of Goatman's Bridge. According to the most circulated version, an African-American entrepreneur named Oscar Washburn and his family tended a farmstead goat herd near the bridge that was renowned for quality meat, milk, cheeses, and hides. When the popular businessman proudly hung a sign on the Old Alton Bridge directing, this way to the goat man, it infuriated local Ku Klux Klansmen who plotted violence. On a dark night in the late 1930s, a mob of KKK members stormed Washburn's shack and dragged the screaming goatmen to their noose waiting on the bridge. They tightened the rope around the begging Oscar's neck, then mercilessly flung him over the side. But when the night riders stumbled down to the dark river's edge to confirm their murderous handiwork, they were shocked to find only an empty noose dangling over undisturbed waters. The panicked Klansmen frantically searched the area unsuccessfully before rushing to Washburn Shanty, setting it afire with the Goatman's family shrieking inside, perhaps to bait a desperate rescue attempt by the vanished Oscar. Washburn was never seen again, they say, but vengeful spirit has haunted the old Dalton Bridge ever since. Local legend says if you knock on the steel bridge three times at midnight, or perhaps turn off your car lights and honk three times in summons, then you dare a visitation from the vengeful goat man that's preceded by the stench of the king flesh. Numerous reports tell of unholy glowing eyes that burn red from the darkness, eerie glimpses of large snarling goat-headed man beasts stomping in the wood shadows, or a frightening apparition carrying the heads of goats or humans in his hands.
Now, rumor is, if you come here at night, believe the rumor is, if you walk on the Goatman's Bridge at night and flash a light or something, something along the lines, he will meet you at the opposite end of the bridge. Right there. Now, it actually wasn't that long ago. It was October 2022. Yeah, last year. Supposedly, um, I don't even know his name, but a big influencer on TikTok or Instagram, whoever he was, has thousands and thousands, maybe even a million followers. But he came out here to Goatman's Bridge on Halloween night and stayed the night. Now, long story short, he did not, in his thing, he did not see anything. But he did come here. It did attract a lot of attention. I guess he had a lot of followers who came and actually met him here. So... I don't know. I mean, that's pretty cool. You know, it, it brought a lot of, I guess, notice to to the bridge, um, especially when you're a big influencer like that, rather than just a local legend. Well, I know it's not at night, but we made it to the opposite side of the bridge. Apparently, this is where the goat man would meet you, right about here. But I guess if the legend is true, Oscar Washburn's. Uh, Go farm would have been right over here and today this road is no longer and this is the main road here today these trees just look creepy though cool in a creepy way yeah and then the trail goes out there too when is there not graffiti I didn't even know that. Entered in the National Register of Historic Places. That's pretty cool. And as you can see, to keep the bridge up, they had to put new wood down. It is still creaky though, as you walk along it. And there's some even big holes still in the wood there. Now the story of Oscar Washburn happened in the 1930s, supposedly. But unfortunately, the tragedy at this bridge doesn't end there. A few years ago, a young man, about 17 years old, committed suicide at this bridge. He threw himself over the side and drowned in the water below. I believe it was due to him being bullied by fellow kids his age. It's very sad. Now let's take a walk into the forest, where I believe more of the ghostly activity happens actually in here, more so than even the bridge. Honestly, what scares me more than the bridge is these woods, and I'll tell you why. So with all the rumors circling about the legend of Goatman's Bridge, I guess according to another legend, what has happened here in these woods is uh, Satan followers, worshipers, whatever you want to call them, have reportedly come out to these woods and have done gatherings and animal sacrifices. One of the stories that I read online was that um, local pet shops stopped selling cats. You know, like Petco, PetSmart, they stopped selling cats because of the fact that there was so many found dead, like sacrificed in these woods. And I guess they just put the two things together and assumed that's where they were getting these cats from. And what's crazy is still today, I mean, we're in 2023, still today there's reports of these followers coming out here at night and having these rituals. And this is an actual trail that you could walk. A lot of people do. I would not be walking through here by myself. Definitely not at night, but even in the day, no thanks. That's kind of creepy. Now, obviously that's probably, you know, people swim in here, I don't know why you would. I would not. It's catfish and who knows what else in there, but. 
that looks like, you know, you would swing from that. Or would you? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below after viewing this video if you believe in the legend of the Go Man at Old Alton Bridge. It is a proven fact you won't find the name of Oscar Washburn in any historical records. Most ghosts are given names because we need to feel like we can know them. As someone once wisely advised, never let the facts of a story obscure the truths in its tale. Well, everyone, that's gonna wrap it up before the return to Goatman, my personal return to Goatman video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I know just based off the comments from people, longtime subscribers, this still is their favorite video I've ever done. And like I just said, this was one of my first videos the old camera so glad i was here to get it with the newer camera today but anyway if you liked the video give it a thumbs up we'll see y'all next time on the travel channel take care